One, two, three, go. I think they're off. There we go. Good luck. Let's go. Best we're of luck. It. Okay, we're off. Do deck starting a little lit. Yes, very good luck. Do deck starting a little bit late, but that's uh, that's fine. Yep. A couple seconds off, we'll take it. Oh. Hell yes. Okay. Into escape for both runners. Do deck takes a little death. That so does headstrong actually. Wow. This is uh. That is not common to see. <laughs> and it's definitely not both runners dying in escape. Same like pretty much same place. You I think believe. they they planned that? <laughs> They're in a call right now, planning. <laughs> oh no, Dudek. Dudek <laughs> misses the, the boosted up a gun. Which is unfortunate, it's just uh, adding a little extra time over here. But it is fine though, because he got this. Okay, never mind. I shouldn't have said something. Very easy to miss boosted. It is, yes. It's a very, very strange trick, especially on that platform. Because when it moves, I believe its hitbox also moves, so Jack can get caught in the hitbox. Like that, for example, with Dudek, he got, he got he staggered a little bit. There's a chance he can still make it up, but Dudek, uh, you know, that there's a very chance, there's a big chance that he could also fall like, very, very easily and just uh, die again. But yeah, Dudek coming to the end of escape right now, headstrong. Sizable lead so far. Bit of a stream lag on the side of Hedgerun then. Okay, we're all fine. But yes, a lot of the early game in this in this run for those who are unaware is find a zoomer, go quick, go very fast in zooming. So. Yes. The faster you can find a zoomer, the faster you're going to get to what we're going to call Mars Tomb Skip, which is not what I call it. I call it Mars Tomb Skip. Everyone calls it. I'm going to stop now and just continue with what I'm saying. Yes, Headstrong did just performed what is known as Red Barrier Skip, jumping out of bounds with a zoomer. <laughs> it's very fancy. You're just doing the same thing here for the yellow barrier. Usually these sections are blocked off and you're not allowed to go through. Because well, we don't care about rules for speedrunners, so might as well just you know break the game. Just very nice. This is the, I believe, the fastest way to Mars Tomb from the early game. Because I know no other way, honestly. But <laughs> there we go. Dudek doing the same here gets the death warp. Just very nice. Ooh, okay, that, that has a tendency to happen. Yes, there you go. That has a tendency to happen if you jump at a really kind of strange angle for Dudek. Which is, uh, yeah, you can, uh, you can cause uh, Jack to not actually go through. Or through the top, which is uh, very unfortunate. So, you know we're vibing. Dudek at the moment not too far behind Headstrong, like definitely still anyone's game in the early game, cause especially since Headstrong at the moment is coming up to a very, very reset heavy point in the run. This is Dax the Chase Skip, which is, if performed correctly, will save about 40 seconds over the old way people did this, but if not done correctly and dies, then okay, very nice, she gets to dive. Pretty much first this puts try. you in, yes, first try very pog. Pretty much this puts uh, puts them in an invulnerability state, so you can take Daxter away from the boulder, where whereas that would just normally kill you. Uh, you can go past Daxter for some reason it turns you back into Jack, and then you just you know you you chilling. You do a you do a hover over up the stairs, dive under this water, and then do a hover over right to the very end. Which uh, is very nice. Dudek struggling a little bit with uh, with the Mars Tomb. Yeah. 
taking <laughs> a little bit of time. Uh, you just yeah. kind of go straight for it. Nah, it's a little too, little too far. I didn't get enough height though. Not enough distance, not enough height. Oh, almost. There you go. And Strong went back in bounds on her hover to the tombstones. Oh, that is, that's unfortunate. <laughs> Yeah, that's very finicky, out of bounds. Oh, the Dudek didn't get the, uh, Dudek didn't get the thing. Dudek didn't, uh, didn't get the death warp, sorry. He, uh, he got the... Oh, he didn't trick. get the death warp. That's, no, that's... Very, extremely unfortunate. There's a chance if you, with this death warp, you kind of have to land, not specifically in an area, but you kind of have to load in the tomb before you die. Like, kind of like that. But if the, there's a chance the tomb won't fully load in, and it will just take you back outside of the palace. So that's a little bit of time loss on uh, Dudex part there, but... Overall, I still think it is pretty close. I don't know if Dudek goes for Danks to Chase Skip or not, but... If he does, then chances are he can... Uh, he can bring some time back. Which is uh, very nice. Headstrong has just entered the Baron fight as well. This is uh, this is a very RNG heavy battle, I believe. I could be entirely wrong about that, but it depends where the Baron throws his little bombs. Because, you know, you kind of need them to damage him, and there's a thing Headstrong is going to go for right here. She gets it, yes. Pretty much. I think she got that, actually. I didn't see. Hmm. We'll see. I, I, saw the, I saw the green health bar, and I think that means it's fine. But pretty much, if you hit... F you're supposed to have four bombs to go into the next phase. If you hit five bombs instead, it skips his health a little bit in the next phase. So you only have to hit three bombs in this phase. For example, so if Headstrong did that correctly, no, she didn't. That's unfortunate. But that's completely fine. She can get another five hit right there. There you go. That is that's the big one. Bit of a professional stream right here. Okay. Also, I think Dudek did Dudek uh, fail Daxter Chase. I see him, I see him on his way back. Oh, there you go. Very nice, he gets to dive. I'm so busy talking about Headstrong and uh, the Baron fight right now. Yes, this Baron fight, it depends on where she fight, where the Baron fires the bombs. If he fires the bombs in, like, really awkward areas, then it's not very nice. Not very nice to deal with, but... She got pretty, pretty okay RNG, I'd argue, though. Dudek doing the... Oop, okay, he's a little bit stuck on the wall. Dudek is doing the exact same thing that Strong just did with the Daxa Chase Skip, going to go for the hover. We'll see if we can get that. Hover is started. Can he make the landing? Oop, very nice. Okay. Nice little bit of time save right there. Very fancy. Okay, now here's, here's the big one. Headstrong mentioned last time that she didn't go for this hover because she had the hoverless mindset. There you go, she goes for the hover. That is very, very nice. Nice little bit of time save. Dude, heck is stuck. Oh no. Okay, he's fine. Oh. A dude that can make it out of Mars tomb without any problems and then ooh, he has a chance of catching up uh, yeah it, it's he is he's now sizably more behind than than he was obviously but yeah that his angle on this hover is a bit uh not really working out for him okay he's out of bounds he's doing uh oh, sorry go on Strong took the angle 
much further to the right. Try to seem to be a lot easier and faster than than that. Uh, yeah, yeah. But I believe her headshot did the slow hover, where she just hovers straight to the room instead of going out of bounds. Well, she still goes out of bounds, obviously, but I mean, like, in the water. She yeah. didn't go in the water, so. Uh, but yeah, Dudek, there's he kind of... He kind of combined the two tricks, because there's the, there's the, fa there's the quote-unquote faster hover, which you go in the water, out of bounds, and then hover up with the two side flips. And then there's the, the longer hover, but it's kind of more safe, you know? Flies over, like, flies straight into the room. It's a hover that I used to do personally, which is very, very, uh, very nice. But I've recently found out that the, the waterway is faster. A deck out of tombstones. Very, very nice. There is still a chance. This game is brutal, as I found out myself. There is still a chance that Hair Dudek can catch up. If Headstrong, for example, dies in sewers, or, for example, dies in bomb bots, or pretty much if Headstrong dies and has to do a mission again, Dudek has a big window of, of opportunity to catch up. Well, let's just uh, catch up a little bit more, anyway. So, yeah. That was a uh, rescue s friends. No, that's a lie. This is sewer escort. Entering sewers as you enter Praxis. Yes. Oh wow, I forgot about these. <laughs> Dudek was saying that he was telling me he didn't really have much motivation to play because he knew he was going against Headstrong. <laughs> but hopefully he picks uh, it up and has a, yeah. has a really good rest of his run. Honestly, um, I would be honored to face someone like Headstrong. Dude. Like, <laughs> it'd, be, it'd, be, it'd be great. I'd be honored to face someone like Headstrong because she's just she's a very, very talented runner. And who knows, maybe it will happen later on in the tournament. I am partaking in the tournament myself. Maybe it will happen later on. Who knows? Possibly, if Hedge... I make... Yeah. But I, I do kind of... Uh, I do kind of get where he's coming from. Instead. Oh, there's uh, some... Who can here. catch up. Yeah, uh, yeah. But <laughs> Hedge Chong's been running hoverless. <laughs> I was gonna say a uh, nice internet lol. <laughs> my my <laughs> commentator, my co-commentator is uh, is dying over here with the internet. Yeah, my internet is very poor. I had to refresh the page like three times at least <laughs> so that yeah, I can keep good. up with where they are currently. <laughs> that's all good. I'm watching two streams at the same, but well, technically three streams at the same time right here. I've got both Dudek and uh, Headstrong stream on my one monitor, and I have the Jack Speedruns on the other monitor. You so, use the link that I put in the, um, in I the did. voice channel. Yeah, the category. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah I, I'm better. using it. And then turn off the stream for best internet. Yeah. I guess you do. I mean, I'm, I'm, I mean I'm fine, I'm fine, you know, so. Yeah, that makes it like, it's pretty nice. What? <laughs> <laughs> oh, it'll be <laughs> fine. <laughs> 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 Yeah, Flair hates us right now. For a second, I thought, like, I forgot Headstrong was, like, in sewers, and I'm like, wait, why is she just, did she hardlock? Why is she just standing still? Why is her screen not moving? It's like, oh, wait. Sewers. <laughs> yeah. Panicked a little okay. bit. Yeah, this, um, sewers, there's not really much I can say. We did gloss over a dialogue skip. I believe that she, she did get that. The dialogue skip is... This is why both runners are playing in Japanese, actually, because it makes that little skip easier. Uh, on You might have seen on Headstrong, where, where she she like kind of jumped on top of like on top of the thing, on top of the uh, the debris, and then, and then it exploded. She took damage. You're like, why? Why'd you do that? Pretty much, it lets you go through there a little bit quicker. It lets you go through the area just a little bit quicker, and if you kill the two metalheads that are on the bridge, it will stop the two metalheads spawning behind. Which is always really, really nice. Just a little bit of time save. Headstrong just finishing sewers here. Just 
It's very nice, very sizable lead for her. Okay, do deck uh, kind of struggling a little fortress. bit. Yeah, th this is this is a an evil mission. I can't blame him. Oh, there we go. Okay. Yeah, that hover angle was so easy to mess up. No pay attention. <laughs> yeah, this this honestly, I think he may be. Do you reckon he may be nervous? A little bit nervous. He is facing headstrong. Because I know I definitely was. I was uh, I was facing Jordan yesterday. I was uh, very nervous. Yeah, I was just facing JP. Like mid run, I got like super duper nervous because I got like yeah. two minutes behind and just made me make more mistakes. <laughs> yeah, it's just oh. And I hard lock, so technically I didn't even finish that race, but you know. Oh, headstrong hover. That was unfortunate. She dropped it a little too early and bounced off. That is very, very sad. Bombard's very simple mission, just kill three things very quickly. For some reason, the uh, kicks, your little spin kicks, deal a little bit more damage to um to the Bombards than, um, you know, a gun. So, you may see... Oh, pardon me, sorry. You may see Headstrong uh, jumping and spinning like a maniac and shooting a gun. That is actually faster. <laughs> Which is very nice. Depends in front of the box that can stay really close to it for as long as possible. Yep. Yeah, Headstrong's um, on pretty okay pace, all things considered. The death and escape definitely, uh, it's definitely a little, uh, a little bad to the time. I suppose I've lost the word completely there, but you know. Headstrong, the death and escape probably uh, didn't help at the time at the moment. You know, just that was very nice third bomb bot. It was. It was very clean. Yeah, uh, she's still relatively on pace, I'd argue. If she can have a very good clean late, like mid to late, then everything's all good, you know? Very, very clean mid to late, and then everything is all, all great. She's a very talented runner, you know? There's some, some, uh, hoping to see some sub one actions going on here. Okay, here's what I was talking about. Dudek is about to do the, the exact same thing. Ball jump, kill these two as fast as possible. And these guys behind him do not spawn. There you go. They do not spawn, which is uh, very, very, very nice. I'm in. Headstrong currently on class two. It is very dangerous. Much See how lap skips go. Yep. Lap skips. Uh, these, this, are, as the name implies, lap skips skip lap. Believe it or not. I actually liked you. Are wrong. She's on lap four. Wow. Yes, uh, this this was found actually rather recently by Ouija, I believe. It's found rather recently by Ouija. Um, there was an old way of doing it that Headstrong perfected. Go on, actually, I'll, I'll let you, uh, you know. Yeah, this uh, new method is very very easy compared to the old method. <laughs> Yeah, I if got I the can... new one first, my first try ever. So, <laughs> yeah, if I if I can do them in runs, you know, just saying. Nah, it it's it will take practice to get to know what to do and things like that. Well, not not just to know what to do, just it will take practice just to like get a good angle. 
kind of thing, you know? Yeah. Yeah, to just have a feel it out for, like, how to not press too far right or too far left every yeah. time. You know what I mean? Jack 2 is the most troll of speedrun games. So... That anything can yeah, happen, honestly. Like... I've had it where zoomers smash into me mid-jump and things like that, so... Oh my god, oh, yeah. that jump! Okay. Watch headstrong jump on stream. <laughs> it's just yo. Okay. That was high. That was a high, high zoom bounce solely. Yeah, do deck out. That's zoom like is perfectly right. timed zoom bounce. Yeah, that was yeah. extremely high. That was so high. Oh my god. Yes, the old wall, the old lap skips were against a wall. So what, what you would do, you would kind of angle yourself on the wall and then smack yourself upwards at a weird angle and boost. It's kind of hard to explain because I never I never knew how to do them. So, you know. And you would have to turn it around with like 180 80 degrees, like while doing the lap skip as well. Yeah, you would go right uh, past that spot. Yep. Headstrong found a way to um, to do them pretty consistently, and then Ouija, out of anger, found the new way. So, you know. I feel like that's a lot of how tricks in these games work. The Daxter Chase Skip, like the whole Daxter Chase Skip was found because someone got very angry and decided, you know what, let me dive into the water you go out of frustration. And then uh, the, the new version of Class 2 is... Uh, the new version of Class 2 is because uh, Ouija was struggling get, get, to get, like, the old lamp skips done, so he, uh, fell into, like, like, he fell into the dick trash accidentally and, like, smacked his controller, I think, or something. But he went high enough over the wall and found out the, the lap actually counted. So he found a new, easy method to do lamp skips, which is very, very fancy. I think that's the explanation. That's all I remember him telling me, anyway. He withholds information from me. Unlisted strats. Headstrong opting to do ringless right here. Which is very, very nice. This... Oh, that's my doorbell. Someone is at the front door. Appreciate it, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, um... Ringless can be a, quite a bit faster if you know the route for it. The only problem, you're not allowed to hit a ring. If you hit a ring, mission over, you have to start again. So, Headstrong, she is a very great runner. She knows she knows the ringless, she knows where it is. She knows the bridge, she knows exactly where to go. So, she, she should be fine with this. Ring, ringless is very tough strap because... Even if you can oh, do no, it, deck. usually it's it's very hard to do it actually faster than what it would be yep. to take the rings. Dudek sadly died on bombots. That was very unfortunate. Un unfortunate. At least uh, it wasn't yeah. in sewers. One fifty one. That is impressive. That's a good ringless time. Yes. Yeah, so at least uh, at least he didn't die in sewers. Seven. Like I did. Yeah. At least he didn't die, uh, die in sewers like, like, like I did. Anyway, uh, <clears throat> onwards. Yes, uh, to go back to ringless really quick, um, the rings give you a slight boost whenever you pass through them. So, not having that boost kind of can put you uh, a little bit, oh, sorry, at a disadvantage, but it's fine because, you know, you're still, like, miles ahead. You're skipping, like, so all of the rings. Which is uh, very, very interesting. It's faster, but if you crash into a wall or hit something, you can't get the boost from the rings. So, if you crash into something, crash into a wall, and it's not very good. <laughs> and uh, there's a chat. Oh, Dudek. That's so unlucky. Dudek having a tough time with uh, Bombard right now. Which is very sad. I would still argue it's the ball still in anyone's court at the moment. Just because I have very good optimism when it comes to these races. I'm like, oh, anyone can win so far. But also, uh, I believe that 
I believe it. Honestly, Headstrong could could take a crash. Well, could crash and have to re do a mission again, for example. I th I don't know. Actually, I don't know actually if uh, she'd need to, but you know, she could hard lock. She could uh, something good horrible could happen. You know. Uh, yeah, there's a lot of death warping in uh, Haven okay. City. Or no. But from Headstrong. Go on. Sorry. <laughs> I think we lost flipped. <laughs> yes, uh, Dudek has no yellow ammo at the moment. This is uh, unfortunately gonna make uh, Bombots a little slower. And by a little, I mean like a lot uh, slower. Uh, oh, he's back. Oh, we, uh, do we have him back? <laughs> Oops. Flair, I think you're dying, my dude. I can't lie. The laser and her PS2 could stop working. Mid yes. <laughs> mid run. That is uh, very, that is, very that... unfortunate. Yep. Well, <laughs> you, you, your wife, I hate you. I'm just saying. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Are you alive? Flair. Um, Are you alive? You see it? Okay. It's <laughs> fine. It's fine, guys. He's here. The Wi-Fi so, hates you, my dude. I think it cut out earlier, but when you were said anything could happen, I said yeah. Like either of their lasers, lasers in their PS2s could just break at any moment. Yeah. And then the other one would win. Hmm. Interesting. A wife? What did you say? I said waifu. Your waifu hates you. <laughs> uh, Flay, your waifu hates you. I'm sorry. Sorry to say. Oh no, not Ryuko. God. Uh, yes, headstrong. <laughs> <laughs> headstrong entering the fence. <laughs> Bro. Okay. This restart warp that headstrong has just done actually saves quite a bit of time. I found out about it the other day. So, it's very, very fancy. Just saves her having to go all the way up, you know, uh, having to jet board all the way over to him or restart a little later on in the level to to get the same moves. So, you know, vibes. <laughs> yes, this this mission is all about farming ammo, pretty much. You're gonna want ten peacemaker ammo at the end of this. And I could be wrong in saying, like, I don't know the exact priority on weapons, but because his, her blue ammo, because of the blue ammo, that she's not full on blue ammo, the game is prioritizing the blue ammo right now. So once she's basically full on that, it will prioritize the next gun. Like you see, it's giving us some yellow ammo as well. So once all, pretty much once all her weapons are full ammo, uh, she will start getting... She will start getting uh, Peacemaker drops, which is very, very nice. Yeah, I don't know exactly what pace Headstrong is on, but she's putting up a pretty damn good performance right now. Yeah, punching and kicking Maybe these guys. Yes. Could be. I, I, don't, I don't know what time she gets here right? in PB, you see, so... Yeah, punching and kicking these guys just means that you don't save ammo. Well, you do save ammo, sorry. Which is very, very, very nice. Who is ahead and by how much? Headstrong is ahead by a considerable amount. Like a very, very considerable amount. I'd say about... a... Hmm. I'd say about six minutes ahead right now. Six, seven minutes, I'd say. Oh, no, baby Samos, no. No, that is so unlucky. Oh, Headstrong, that is so unlucky. He left slightly too early. Oh, that's that's so unlucky. She left slightly too early thinking that was the last guard, but the one like sneaky little guard killed Samos, that is oh. 
that's um, that's put her behind a little bit. She would have to do the entirety of this mission again, which is about two minutes. So, no, not very, not very nice. She has more of a chance for ammo Extremely now. Extremely unfortunate. Yeah, she has more of a chance for ammo now. Though I sure. do think she's, I do think she's full anyway. Yeah, sorry, go on. <laughs> well, anything could happen. Yeah, and you could can die again. again on Samus, then Ludic might be almost caught up by that point. <laughs> yeah. Anything can. It, Jack 2 is an evil, evil game. Anything can happen at any time, anywhere, any place. So. Headstrong, you know, just. She's, she's still ahead by a very comfortable, considerable amount. Which is very, very nice. Very it nice for her at the moment. Yeah. It makes sense that the tournament is in a Swiss format for Jack 2 because of how <laughs> crazy and inconsistent the game may, can seem at times, you know? Yeah. I also really like the Swiss format because it gives everyone a chance to play in every round and they will be facing people more to their skill level, which is and it very, just very provides nice. provides more, more rounds with less organization. Uh, yeah. Uh, very very nice so you know where for example if i if i win a few more races actually but let, let, i'll make this analogy well it's not an analogy it's strong going for this again okay she gets it this time she is leaving preemptively just to get a little bit of a head start because she can't restart warp anymore if you i forgot to mention if you restart warp at the start you can't restart warp at the end and it works vice versa as well. So, um, you know, she has to go go all the way back up here like really, really quickly. So just leaving preemptively there works in just works in their favor, just a little bit faster, you know. Uh, yeah, we're uh, what was I saying? <laughs> I was saying um, about the Swiss tournament format. So, say for example, if Headstrong loses this match, uh, she would be one on one. Right, I am at the moment one and one in the tourney, so there would be a chance that I face headstrong, for example, in the next round, which would be very, very pog. I would not mind that at all. <laughs> this is uh, very, very nice. Okay, headstrong showing off. Hell yeah, some ghost town stuff action right there. Very nice. Yeah, uh, Go on. Can you move eight and O in the tournament? Hmm. It could honestly happen. We have some very, very talented runners in this tourney. Interesting route by Dudek there, actually. Yeah, nice cover. I wasn't sure if it was going to work. Hmm. Interesting. Oh, Dudek. Errol race can be not nice at times, so... Oh yeah, sometimes you can be going, and if you aren't paying attention, you'll hit a fat guy. And you'll yep. just get knocked two feet two feet away from the ring. Or in my experience, knocked to the other side of the gardens. <laughs> like, for no reason. <laughs> uh, yes, the runners can, if they wanted, they could also unmute the stream. Hi, runners, if you're listening. Hello, you're very talented. Very well done. Good luck. Uh, they can unmute the stream and listen if they really want to, and we will talk about like, like for example, Dudex on Arrow Arrow Race right now. We were talking about like Arrow Race, and like you know they can make a rough assumption from that, but they could also have like the race open in the second monitor or something. So like they can if they want to, but in my experience, I don't think it's a good idea. <laughs> so yeah, it kind of makes know. the race harder. Yeah, it's uh, it's so nerve wracking as well. Headstrong gets the uh, the hover up here very very easily. Due to V day, and we usually screen and race, so
Yeah, I, I can't, I can't do anything about that. I'm afraid. <laughs> <laughs> poor, uh, poor dude, just dying over here. Ah. Uh. Yeah, but, but, but yeah. <laughs> Yeah, Hedgehog did say that at one point, like, her, troll, her controller was a bit, like, trolling. So she decided, you know what, we'll just grind Hobbless out. And I think it was worth it because she, um, she kind of snagged the world record, so, you know, why not? She's currently on the Hobbless grind as well because she is grinding for a 102 at the moment, which is very, very nice. Yeah, well... One or two will be amazing. What a good. One or two will be like revolutionary, honestly. I don't remember what the old. Uh, what was the old world record? Was it one or two? You said PB was so close. Yeah. Honestly, she if she keeps up that grind, she can do it. Oh yeah, because her her most recent PB. Like one. Yes. <laughs> and, her, and she got a one, 103.30, so she cleans up that one mistake she already has, the 102. Yep. <laughs> well, on to any percent, actually. Uh, this, this room is a bit sad. And the reason I say this room is a bit sad is because the Titan suit, for some unknown reason, decides, do you know what? Instead of punching like that, instead of punching why I need to punch, which is these computer consoles, oh look, a metalhead, just bonk him on the nose real quick. Hey, it's, uh, it's a little, little tedious, so I know a lot of runners do like to get out of the mech suit. Just to, uh, like, smack the, smack the, well, kill all the metalheads beforehand, and then use the titan suit just so there's no one in the room to, like, throw off the aim kind of thing. Which is fair enough, you know, but the no, oh, that's Dark Jack for Hedgehog. <laughs> Was that intentional? I think that might have been intentional. I don't think that might have been intentional, actually. Interesting. Yep, Headstrong's just, as we say, the queen of showing off in races. Oh my god. It's dark jack <laughs> all. She should have done it all the way through. I know it doesn't last that long, but she should have just dark jacked all the way through. Uh, all the way through here. That would be funny. That would be very funny. Uh, she didn't go for the hover, which is uh, interesting. I think she was going to, but she like misloaded the room. Well, she tried because she zoomed in yeah, just to like I... reduce lag a little bit, and then it was a little too late. Or oh, Pavelis movement, yeah. Yeah, you you can. It's hard, but just in time, you can go in first person, zoom back out, and jump on the jet board and do a hover as you load the room. Yep. Or you run on PS Five and don't have to lag at all. So yeah. Anyway, moving swiftly on. Swag hover from Dudek, I that that is that is I I appreciate that. That is so very nice. He's he's stuff. been doing swag hovers. Yeah, both runners are just showing off now at this point. They're just like, you know what? Like stuff has gone wrong in both in both races, you know. The unfortunate death in uh in Bombots to Dudek, the unfortunate um Samos for Let's go first person. Yeah, hell oh, yeah. Headstrong on lurkers now. She has to find all of them and shoot Boy. them down. Each each one takes five shots, exactly. She's going to move it over towards the place where you need to drop them off at first. Oh, yeah, she might, I think she's just, there. Yeah, she might as well just pick she a shot. Up, she missed it. Yeah. Okay, the, the, it's weird how these like little, little things... I'm gonna try my best to explain this. There's kind of like a like an invisible sphere kind of around it, right? If the lurker is in that sphere, on the ground, in that or whatever, if it's in that sphere, pretty much it's gonna target that, right? It's gonna target uh, that whole 
the 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 the, the, little, the the thing that they're supposed to go into, like the little the sewers grate thing, right? It's gonna target that, so the lurkers will just jump into that instead of like jumping on your zoomer, for example. So what what runners do? They grab a lurker, which Headstrong very likely will show off here. So they grab the lurker, they drive on over. She's gonna shoot this one, and it shoots over there. She's going to drop off that lurker, move a little bit forward, and let this lurker go into that sphere. So that lurker then walks into where it's supposed to be, and she doesn't have to pick it up, which is a neat little bit of time save. Which is very, very nice. Headstrong is, honestly, she's on a good run. Like, it, other than the Samos death, it, this, it was a good run. Like, I still think it has... I don't think she made really any other mistakes. She maybe lost a, a minute, minute and a half before, pra like, it would, yeah. between Mars 2 and Praxis. Maybe a minute, minute and a half, and then... Yeah. The four minutes on Samus. Other than that, she's still on sub sub one pace. Yeah, I think sub one is still definitely possible. Yeah, you see there the 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 the, the, the guard zoomer. Oh yeah, other than the death on escape as well. But uh, the guard zoomer there, uh, she shot the guard zoomer. The lurker fell out. It was in like the circle radius. That um for it to work. Ah, oh, dude, the heck, that is so unlucky. Dude, the the lurker was still in this. Says that they they snipe them a lot. The flying guys do. Yeah. Ugh. Oh. having an unfortunate race right now, but you know, he's he's having fun with it. I'm pretty sure. Oh yeah. He's vibing. <laughs> <laughs> he got on jetboard. It's strong entering class. One now as well. Yeah, it's still um I still think Hedron can sub one. If she makes no other major mistakes in this run, she can definitely sub one, I think. Yeah, having fun while playing Jack too. Yeah, who has fun playing this game, God? <laughs> Tired. Ah, okay. Sorry. <laughs> uh yes, uh Last tips on class one race here by Headstrong. Yes, who His was that? are a little bit more difficult. Uh, yeah, I've heard that people believe these ones are easier just because there's a bigger wall that you can kind of hit off, you know. Uh, but the, it is, it's easy, it's like. It's harder in the way that it doesn't actually save you time if you're not landing properly with it, right? So Headstrong's going to do this really quick. She lands right next to the tunnel, which is really, really good. Obviously, she's right by the tunnel. It's perfectly fine. There's also a chance, depending on your angle, you can go like for, like a lot further away, and then you have to spend time turning around and all of that kind of thing, and you have to like drive forward. Or you even turn too much and land out of bounds and die. Yeah. Like there, for example, further back where Headstrong landed, right there, a little further back, then they it just—it's just losing time. So yeah, it can be helpful. Like the the lap skips, they can be like really, really, really free, if if you know how to do it properly. You know, Jordan had fun for five minutes yesterday. I had fun for the first like five. I had fun for the first. I had fun early game, right? And then late game, I hated everything. So, you know, we move. Oh, uh, God. I hard locked in that race. So there's a. Headstrong on her way to explore Palace. A very, very nice and simple. Nice and simple hover. Shouldn't take too long. I also, Unless she decides uh, to show up. Hard locked off. after Palace, in my room. Damn. Not after Palace, after Race 3. Yeah, honestly, uh, Majora, I had fun until Class 2. I died like four times on Class 2. That race, honestly, was not my best showing, but... You know. We, there's still a lot more Jack 2 to play, so... We'll, we'll see how it goes, you know. Quick, someone used 500k points to rig the race to make Dudek win. 
<laughs> Ektron is showing off again. <laughs> you know, you might as well, you know? There's a, there's a lot of people watching the race right now. You might as well just show off, be all fancy and flashy. Why not? You do bets for channel points. I... Me, personally, I can't, but... You know, I'm not a mod, I'm not a, like, broadcaster or anything. So that is completely up to Mr. Jack Speedruns. He is a person. They are a person. I am not a person. <laughs> you know. There you go, pretty easy for Headstrong. Right there. Some nice, simple hover. Why Why do the entire level when the, the end is literally the start? So you can just, you know, go back for the elevator. That should work very well. Yes, nice. Oh wow, okay, that's interesting. She started a hover accidentally, I think. She's carrying it through. She's like, yep, why not? <laughs> yeah, losing a little bit of time because of how slow the hover is, but that's that's okay. That is also losing a little bit of time. Wow. Interesting. Okay, that is that is very interesting. Wow, I've never seen that before. I was I was unaware that was possible, honestly. But oh, me we as go. well. Dang, I didn't know you can actually spawn in that room. <gasps> maybe yeah, the maybe a death yeah. warp there. Maybe a death warp there is actually possible for as a backup yeah. for peacemaker hover now. Hmm, interesting. Theorizing. Yeah. Okay, this is uh, one of the longer hovers in the game, but this one, not nice, not nice hover. It's, there's a chance if you don't load the level properly, you'll have to do it blind. And doing a blind hover is never nice. Oh, pardon me. Doing a blind hover is never nice, but Headstrong managed a really good angle to load the level beneath her, so she just knows exactly which room she needs to drop in. Just gonna hover up to this guard room to load the boss and then do a hover up to this top area just for a little death warp right there. Very, very fancy. Oh, did Dudek die? I didn't see. Oh, Dudek died. Oh, he I, did, to... I didn't see either. Yeah, drive it. that's driver shame for Dudek. That's unfortunate. Very unfortunate. He's having a bit of a tough time at the moment, unfortunately. Oh, he fell there as well. Oh. Dudek having a bit of a tough time with this one. Oh, yeah. that's un that is very unfortunate. unfortunate. Uh -huh. He knows he's just lost at this point. I mean, Headstrong could still hard lock. <laughs> you know? Headstrong can still hard lock, give him a chance to catch up a little bit. I don't know if it'll matter actually. I don't know. You could hard lock and forfeit the race, who knows? <laughs> don't say that word. Soft lock. Mm. <laughs> Yeah, I'm. Uh, I've. I've. The, the the that word is forbidden, in this channel now. Apparently. What's, what? What is that? <laughs> uh, yeah, headstrong. Just. Uh, I don't. I didn't see. Did the uh, what phase she's on? Actually, I was watching Dudek. Is she on third phase? There's, there's a lot of there's a lot of guys here. It could be it seemed like third phase. Sean doing a shot where you charge up five different ammo at the same time. It looks uh, like yes. she missed it, unfortunately. Uh, we'll find out when she third kills this one. Yes, yes, she sadly missed it. I was gonna say that that was a lot more like uh, green blobs than uh, normal. Ah, <laughs> oh, dude, heck. that's sad. That's very unfortunate.
but I respect him for keeping keeping it going. You know, but at this point, I would I would have rage quit a long time ago if I was if I was him. <laughs> but respect for for him keeping it going. You know. Yeah, you gotta keep it up. Headstrong's gotta finish first. <laughs> Yeah, it's still, I think, looking like sub hour, depending on how well these go. Actually, I'm gonna compare to my splits because I'm a weirdo. I'm gonna compare to my splits because I think she's on pace with one of my PBs. Let's see, okay, when 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 she gets out of Melhead Mesh. Majority, you're not allowed to say that word. I've been shouting at it about just saying that word. But yes, there is a very big chance she could um <clears throat> in this uh, in this uh, section, so we'll we'll see what happens, you know. God, censoring that word just seems so strange to me. I don't know why, it just looks weird. Okay. I'm still comparing this to um, my splits, by the way, because I'm strange, but you know. What is wrong with you people? Oh no, we've lost someone. Okay, we're fine. <laughs> Headstrong 52 finish around there. Doesn't bad word. Yeah, she's about. Um, I finished Metalhead Mash about 27 seconds after she just did, so. If she has one of my runs, you know. That ain't gonna go so good. Let's see if this... Okay. It's fine. Having good... Doing good with... Uh, on the port. There you go. Very, uh, very nice, easy hover. I'm... Very fancy. I think she's still on pace. I, th I honestly think she's still on pace for a, um... Oh, Headstrong, you are showing off. That's unfortunate. She, that, she's showing off right there. There is a very, 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 very precise hover that Headstrong has just tried to go. If you get it, it can save a little bit of time. I don't know how much. But that was a flex. She goes for it again. Yo, M is legendary, honestly. Does she go for a third time? She does, okay. Ah, <laughs> uh, oh. Ah, oh, so she has to one court no matter what. Ah, uh, yep. She can't, um, I don't know, did it, hmm, I don't know what's the plan here. No, she's going for it again, wow, respectable, honestly. I think she got it. Yes, yeah, she's got it. Nice. Okay, she, that was just a show off. That, there's no way that wasn't just a show off, you know. There's a very precise hover that skips, um, like a little bit of that section. But it's very difficult to do, and I have no idea how to do it, so I'll let someone else explain that if they feel like it, you know? Okay, so basically... Right. I see. <laughs> it seems like she hovers through a spot in the wall that has no collision, and then free falls and turns left and lands right in the pocket where the cutscene starts. And then you, you apparently have to wait a couple seconds, too. 
you saw all of that from one hover. <laughs> from one blind yeah. hover. <laughs> right, I see. Okay. I, <laughs> Two's got the eyes it's, for this Well, game. it seems like that. That seems like what what she would have to do. Uh, yeah, I think uh, I think you've hit it pretty pretty on the head though. It's uh, very very nice, you know. Uh, I can't remember. Is Headstrong one to go for draft skip? She will be right. Dudek is not having she a great time. Well. Yep. Dudek sadly not having a great time right now, but. On the way to lurkers. Yep. Ooh, shaft skip, let's go. Nice, goes out of bounds. Dudex swag it out too. This is a uh, this is momentous okay. Oh okay. That's unfortunate. Uh -huh. I shouldn't have said anything. I was gonna say, uh, oh, this is a momentous occasion. She's going for shaft skip. I don't think anyone in the tournament has done that so far. And then, um, yeah, that happens. That is uh, that is unlucky. For those who don't, it's for those who don't know what happened there, I will try my best to explain it. She took the zoomer out of bounds. Pretty much took the zoomer out of bounds, and she stayed just above. Ugh, I'm tired. Apologies. Right, she stayed just above the death plane, which is very, uh, very, very nice. Uh, what happens is once you're below above that death plane by going up and down, you uh, stay in place, right? Like uh, the you stay in place underneath the door. The palace loads, and because there are two sides to the palace, there's the elevator side on the very far end, and then there's the uh, then there's the main area that you've loaded. At the very start, by the door, um, that end elevator is loaded, right? So you take that zoomer into the palace, you load that area, and once that is loaded, you then do a hover over to the straight line hover over to the elevator, but have it like kind of high. You have to have it like you have to have it like a really kind of top. You have to hover really really high, basically. And once you're at the very top of the, um, once you're at the very, very top of the, of the elevator shaft, you can then drop the hover. You can fall right next to the elevator shaft and it will, um, it will load the stadium area, just saving just a little bit of time instead of driving. Yeah, the two deck just beating up the lurkers though, that's kind of funny. <laughs> Call Peter. Pino would put the lurkers to sleep. <laughs> yeah, I'm very, very sad. You have, you had your race for round two, right? Well, yeah, I already ran my race with GP, but it will be uh, aired GPs. later. Uh, yeah. Okay. Fair enough. Very, very, very nice. Support the cruise, right? <laughs> yep. Headstrong, just not really much I can say about this mission. Just sh jump, spin, shoot, kill, uh, kill metal heads. I was gonna say kill lurkers, then I was like, why? Okay. Okay, Headstrong finishes up Defense Stadium, just kill all the metalheads, you know, just vibe. I think she's on pace for a 101. Depending on how well her core fight goes, she's on pace for a 101, I think. No major mistakes this run, other than uh, the death in Samos, the death in Escape. Uh... Underport took her a little while because of uh, the the underport swag hover, you know. Which fair enough, you know what? Might as well show off. You're very far ahead, I would say. You know, just 
she's doing well right now. There's a very high chance that, you know, she she wins, so. No major saves for except for a procedural list. Three mistakes, yes. No, I mean, you know what I mean, right? No overly major mistakes other than those ones, right? Nothing too major. That's how it feels every run. If you ignore her mistakes, she's made no mistakes. Yes, true. Okay. Yeah, she world recorded this run. You guys just can't see it. <laughs> yeah, she, she still looks on pace for a one or two right now. Around the low one. Or two. Is getting the no mistakes world record right now. Yep. Oh, headstrong. Drop the hover. That's fine, though. You can do some outbounds, boom, and make it a little swag. Yeah, okay. For any final predicting times in the chat? Okay, that's that's unfortunate. Unfortunate. You were crashed. You just crashed right into it. Yeah. Okay, onwards. Okay, might be it's looking like a one or three, actually, I'd say. I'm gonna predict a one or three. Anyone in chat predict anything lower or higher than that? I'd say one one or one three. Yeah, I'd say low one or three. Because I know I know um I know Headstrong is pretty good at core fights, so One or two free eggs. My, my goal was like two two minutes, so there's no way. Headstrong uh, ties. Here you go. It's this this run. Headstrong ties my PB. Well, now I imagine. Unless she can beat Core in thirty seconds from now. <laughs> yeah, so I think it's looking like a one or three. It's strong. We'll finish today. Hopefully, yeah. Hopefully. Wonder who's gonna win. It's still anyone's game. Yeah, it's still, honestly, still anyone's game. Yeah. Dudek might find a death warp that'll take him straight to core. Who knows? Dudek will find hover straight to uh, Core's island, wherever it is. It'd be crazy if we found a way to like move to where the carrier takes us to in Jack yeah. 3 or Jack 2 and then the knowledge transfers over so that we can go like straight to uh, city in Jack 3 yeah. or straight okay. to here in Jack 2. I'm gonna say of 1 of 3 10. 1 of 3 10. 1 of 3 12. Damn, I was right the first time. <laughs> Oh, okay. GG's to Headstrong with the 103. Oh, dude, it with swag back yeah, across the finish. <laughs> yeah, that, that was pretty goddamn swag. So much swag. <laughs> <laughs> GG's to Headstrong. Very good job. She is now 2 0. Very nice. Tied with Jordan for 2 0. I believe. Yeah, that sounds about right. <laughs> okay. It's strong versus Jordan when honestly it could happen next, you know. Mortis with the raid of five. Welcome. Thank you for that, buddy. We've just finished up the race here. Headstrong. Commanding victory right there. Dudek is uh, on his way to Palace, you know. I think at this point he knows he's like, you know, right? He knows he's lost, right? Which is unfortunate. Unfortunate for him. They both, honestly, they both played a pretty good game. Like Dudek, I'm probably feeling really, really nervous. No. Dudek could win at any moment. He could find a way to reverse the in-game time. 
Yeah, just make uh, find a way to make headstrong do a find a way to make headstrong do a core again. <laughs> find a way to make the headstrong do core again. Headstrong just vibing with a Hellcat in the palace because you know why not? <laughs> but I wonder if she'll do some sw swag hovers for us. Okay, let's let's really see. Headstrong, if you can hear, if you are if you are here, if you're watching the stream, it's unmuted. Show off some fancy jet for us. How's that sound? Do deck, please. Do deck has had a bit of an unfortunate run, sadly, but. It, it is what it is, you know, he's probably, On his uh, way to Metal Factory. Yep, on his way to, uh, Weapons Factory. He's about to do some... Some fancy footwork here. Yeah, Trunk's mission selecting. What, what, what would she select to? Ah, on the boat. <laughs> is she gonna show off Hopeless on the boat? Maybe it's covered. Mm. She's just giving us a cursed we're, face, we're Jack. Yeah. Yeah, she's just giving us a uh, cursed Jack. It's fine. Yeah, I'd say overall not terrible on both races. Dudek probably feeling really nervous, you know? Made a made the quite quite bad mistake, you know, died a few times in bomb bots, which is really unfortunate. Uh class two, I don't know I don't actually remember if he uh, died on class two or not, but you know, nothing really well not a lot went well in the early game unfortunately, but against an opponent like Headstrong you are gonna you are gonna be... He's had a he's had a pretty solid late game so far I'd say. Um, he, he's probably just very nervous, honestly. I, I would say from experience, I was nervous as hell facing Jordan yesterday, so... I made a lot of mistakes that I really shouldn't have made, you know? I really should not have made any mis like as many mistakes as I did in that run. Dudek is literally on one health, so he has to be really careful with this. If he gets hit once, then... Yeah, like that. Mm, that's unfortunate. Very. You know, I'm just, I'm just gonna be quiet now. You know, just let him do his thing. You know, Kid Jack Two is always listening. <laughs> you know, if Jack Two heard me that say that. That was super unfortunate shot at him. Yeah. He was, he's just trying to get run away. Yeah, from what from the looks of it, like, because he fires two shots at a time, right? Kind of like a thing he does. Let me have a look. No, it's just one shot at a time. Like most of them hit the um, most of them hit the the thing. Most of them hit the pillar, but then um, like the last one just missed the pillar and hit him. It was like the most unfortunate RNG shot like I've ever seen in my life. It's already down to two, two health again. Yep, he'll be okay, I'm sure. Headstrong is going for a shaft lost some time on this fight too, so. Yeah, yeah. Back on literally one, oh. one health. Headstrong, that's sad. He'll be okay, right? As long as I'm gonna shut up, actually. Two deck, I believe. <laughs> I believe too.
Oh. Oh, extremely. That is so, so sad. Oh, my God. That. Oh, Headstrong showing off. Uh, um, can't remember what it's called. <laughs> Shackskit. Hell yeah. If she go, if she go fully goes for Shapskip here, actually, um, I'll show you what she's doing. She's getting terrible our <laughs> zoomer RNG. Yeah. Yo, Scarletra. We, we love do. this game. We do love this game. Uh, Dudek has select paused. He is debugged. Okay, I see. Dudek has had enough, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> Your deck has had enough. He's like, yo, now, nah, bro. Yeah. So headstrong loads the um, loads the shaft. She fails to hover, but she goes for it again because debug mode. Hell yes. All right. Looks like that'll be it for that race. Headstrong with the victory. Ready. Indeed. Uh, let's bring him in here for very the very nice race. Let her, finish. let her finish shaft skip and then we can bring her in. Yep. Hit do this, do that. Let's do that. Um, what's cool? he, is, he, is he debugged though? I think he just gave himself ammo. Ah, oh, okay. I think I don't think he had any ammo left. <laughs> so therefore, disqualified. Yeah, it, it is disqualified, but yeah, I think he gave up this man today. Yeah. Should we let him finish the run before dragging everyone in? Or... Yeah. Yeah, okay. We can bring in Headstrong. Very, very nice. It's a bit of an unfortunate run, but, you know, GG. happens. GG is Headstrong. Hi. <laughs> How's your ride? Hi, Headstrong. Awful. <laughs> <laughs> Appreciate the underport hover. Yeah, that, that one, I was a little confused, and I was like, oh wait, she's showing off, I see. <laughs> yeah, I figured I'd try and go for it, even though I haven't been practicing it. But you got well. it in the end, so, yeah. Yeah. Don't mind crew, he's just stuck in an endless loop. <laughs> hey, dude, I finally got <laughs> third base skit. Yeah, it's an unfortunate run for Dudek, honestly. I have him kind of watching on the side. Were you watching the stream at all, like, during the run? Yeah, or... I ended up the whole thing. Oh, fair enough. Are you gonna, like, crew out of his endless torture prison of, like... <laughs> Do I have to? If you want to, I suppose, but <laughs> poor dude is... <laughs> Stuck in a reset loop. <laughs> It's not my fault they made this easy to do. <laughs> I swear someone's done that accidentally on like... Me. Yeah, no, I've seen clips of people doing it accidentally. Yeah, I'm about to be like, to... square here. <laughs> I'm about to be core. Oh no, not core crew. Oh no, he reset, what happened? <laughs> I have to do it again, no. There's a fun thing for, for everyone on the stream. Um, yeah, that. <laughs> oh. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> uh, that is that is indeed a thing, yes. Yeah. This fight's a little broken. <laughs> yeah, it's like the game's <laughs> the game's broken. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah it's that's how we both died at, uh, at Protect Escape. Samos. Yeah. At Protect Samos. Oh, oh yeah, and Samos. That was, that was so unfortunate. I think you you thought that the it was, like, over, right? I then... zoned out. I, so I, I took my anxiety meds right before the run to try and make sure I didn't have any issues with that, but I took it a little too late, so they kicked in, like, halfway through the run, I just kind of zoned out mid-run, oh. I was like... Did I kill them all? I think I did, and I waited over there, and I was like, it's not ending. <laughs> oh, no. That's, uh... Oh, that is unfortunate. Yeah, 
yeah. Happens, I suppose, you know. Overall, it was pretty good showing from you, I'd, uh, I'd argue. Yeah, things happen, but it's alright, so what can you do? Yep. Actually, I think you got uh, you got the very similar time to, uh, that I did in my race against, well, my practice race against Bin. <laughs> a 103, which is a minute behind my PB, which is uh, weird. <laughs> I got that in a race, that run was insane, apparently. That's an interesting way to be able to skip. Yeah, I've honestly, I'd never seen that before. I, I saw it yesterday for the first time, and I might try and do it myself, because it's really flashy and cool. Interesting. I've never seen anyone do it with a roll there. I mean, you can, but... I don't know if it would make it more consistent or not, though. Maybe it's just, just a extra way of doing it, you know? And if it saves yeah. me from hard locking in that spot, then, you know, <laughs> that's that's always a bonus. I mean, who needs to do the, the rest of the of the area anyway? Oh, that's unlucky. Oh. Yeah, deaths in here are never fun. You have to start from the beginning every time. Yeah, this game hated the word checkpoints, didn't it? This game has checkpoints? <laughs> you know that's a that's a fair point. Oh, so that was a that was a nice save with the box the box there. I think you did the same the other day in the other race, right? Like in the uh, in the I other race. You on the set, on the, the third set of boxes, yeah. Yeah. Honestly, I think I've never ever seen anyone. <laughs> like save it from that. You can save the first one pretty well. That's the first <laughs> one I've ever saved the third one. <laughs> I just kind of went up. I saw it go up against the door. I was like, crap. Well, I might as well try until it blows up. <laughs> and then it worked and you're like, oh, wait. I see. <laughs> okay. Huh. Right. Dudek is... Uh, I, I, sh I shouldn't have opened my mouth. Uh, poor dude. I I think he's yeah. really nervous. I think he's best just uh you know he, he's got a lot more strength than I have anyway. He'd uh finishing out. Oh, pardon me. Finish out finishing out a run like like this. Yeah, it can be tough for sure sometimes. He's uh the respect to him for that one. This finishing any run in this game is difficult. <laughs> Doing a run of this game is just the worst pain in the world. There's so many things that, like, one minor mistake. Like, with my run, you lose, like, three and a half minutes, because why not? <laughs> game is very brutal. Game is indeed very, very brutal. The jack would be but much more difficult without checkpoints. Yep. I think they noticed that though, like everyone's complaining there's not enough checkpoints in Jack 2, so they're just like, oh well, we, we might as well change that for Jack 3 and make it like, you know, a fair video gaming experience. Yeah, Jack 3 casual was so much better of an experience. People than say two. there's two. Blair is, um, is dead again. <laughs> Rip Wi Fi. <laughs> Yeah, uh, Dudek is coming up to the end of Underport right now. Not much longer to go with Rip the Wi-Fi. Hope he's back. <laughs> back. Yeah, and luckily not too much more. That's like at the difficult end of things. So hopefully we'll be a little more smooth sailing for for them here. Yep, I'm curious to see if he would go for a shaft skip actually. Either Probably not. Skip? I I don't know. Not, honestly. Not, if, not if they're grabbing that bike. <laughs> yeah, probably probably not. 
Honestly, if I if this were me, I would just because you know why not? <laughs> Might as well at this point, but you know I'm not gonna tell. I'm not gonna tell him how to how to run. So, oh, he's trying it anyway. It's very awkward with that bike. Is it possible? With I don't know. Bike? I've never tried. I'm gonna go try. <laughs> it's just barely <laughs> possible. I think I've heard it in the old tutorial video. Yeah, I think I've seen someone do it, but it's like it's because of the back, like the back of it, right? I think it's a bit. Yeah, the back's really weird. I don't even know what debug for the go-to for that. Yeah. I mean, it defends stadium if you want to spawn at the stadium, unless you want to do a, unless you want to do underpull again. I'm doing underpull is really faster than the drive. Yeah. I wish it was an easy way to practice that though. Like instead of having to do on the port again just to get into into like the correct well, yeah, you place. can you can practice it off the palace one, it's just not yeah. that particular as you might. That's weird. She gets it again. Oh. Or did you? I don't know. I have never That's nice. the uh, slow way of getting it. If you bounce it just takes a long time. I, it, it's a very cool swag hover, but I, I don't know. It, it, look, it looks complicated. It's not too complicated, it just needs practice. Yeah, I think I've tried it like twice before, when I was just like, yeah, but this isn't working out, so... Yeah, the, it depends on the height of your jump that you initially start with. It will depend on how fast you need to hover, or slow you have to hover, in order to actually get out of bounds there. Yeah, it's a very see. small window that you're trying to fit through. But it saves six seconds if done well. Especially in uh, in like world record runs and stuff. Oh. That's six seconds is a lot. Yeah, definitely adds up. There's not much more to the to the run at this point for Dudek. He's got a he's got the fence stadium to go once once that. He's got some fancy concept movement and then sight. Yep, and then after that is the is the fight against core. Hopefully the movement goes back on the way to construction site for Dudek. Oh yeah, I, I saw oh, that. Oh my gosh. Was... <laughs> he got bullied by those metalheads on the Dudek uh, said that. Fight. In his transition from Jack 3 back to Jack 2, he was having a lot of trouble hovering again for some reason. Even though he wasn't having any trouble hovering in, in Jack 3, so... If I think it's something to do with FPS, honestly. For hovering? Yeah, it just feels different. Because I'm the complete yeah, opposite. Yeah, hovering I play, between yeah, Jack I... 2 and Jack 3. I'm the complete opposite. I play Jack 3, I can't hover. I play Jack 2, I can't hover fine. Like, you know. I think it's something to do with like the FPS. Like I think Jack Three is like slightly laggier in some areas, and hovers like really easy to drop there. Maybe the control set is slightly different. I don't know. It might be the launch, the like little launch jump thing, as well. Yeah, but, uh, and we, I know me and Jack were discussing a lot about how in Jack Three you do high jumps all the time, but in Jack Two you're like always doing single jumps in three frames. Yeah. You know? It's definitely not, uh, it's not pretty. But I, I do understand where, where they're, where they're Certainly not simple with this one. <laughs> I think it, it, it's probably doable. I think it's just the, the, the back. I've had a few clothes. It's, it's, it's the back area. I think it's just the way it's shaped. That it's it like because you're, you're like bonking off the thing when you're trying to trying to jump a little bit, right? So yeah. you gotta get you gotta get the back up and then jump. Pick it up, but you need enough speed to still make it over. You lose a lot of speed landing with this one. Yeah, you just have to start closer, or the ass smashes his Rubik's. Okay. Oh, 
Yeah, I was close. Oh well. Oh, do deck. He exploded. Shooting the gun on the car. Okay, um, Dudek is uh, pretty close to finishing right now. He'll be finishing very, very, very soon. Uh, the next race on our schedule is very, very nice. Actually, it's Bin vs. TJ, which is, I think, will be a pretty, pretty fascinating race. We've got a lot of good ones lined up today. Definitely got a lot of good ones lined up today. So that one's going to be interesting. Uh, because I actually have a class from about three to four, so I'm gonna turn the stream on and I'm gonna leave for an hour and a half, and I'm gonna hope everything goes well. You're giving us all <laughs> all of the power here. You're giving the commentators all. Yeah, I I trust you guys. <laughs> okay. <Are> you sure. <laughs> Doing anything? <laughs> I don't I don't think that's the the smartest idea, but you know. What's the worst that can happen? Oh, we just burned down the chat room, you know? I mean, it's this is Jack Speeder, and it's like... The <laughs> ban is just in character. Yeah, true. Oh, I can't wait for Headstrong to be finished with this. This madness. <laughs> what the zoo of Zoom has written. <laughs> Alright, final mission for Dude. Yep. The big one. The big core. Alright, time uh, his finish with the explosion. <laughs> <laughs> Is that possible? <laughs> it's due to delay? Oh, delay. That'll, be, that'll be perfect if you get it, though. <laughs> that would be very, very cool. Oh, oh barely saved that hover. Oh, that was that was close. Well, wow. I'm gonna switch um to the waiting screen just as you're about to blow it up. That is evil. <laughs> Don't do that. It's so evil. Come on, give give the people what they want. Okay, yeah. Before you do that, let me change the audio to your screen. So after he finishes. <laughs> Dudek having a pretty clean core fight though. Pretty fast. It's almost time. I am gathering a collection. These are hers now. Just crash the game if you build up too many of them. Oh, you still ran out of yellow. Yes, oh. kill him. There you go. Love it. <laughs> that is that is actually a champ. Wow. Okay. Did you do that? GD is the front is right there. That was the most strong ever. <laughs> 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 All right. And that was the best run. You do have the audio headstrong, so feel free whenever. <laughs> All right. Let me put two more in this pile. The atomic bomb right here. Like. <laughs> Alright. I got five. Awesome. The atomic bomb. <laughs> oh, perfect five. Let's do this. <laughs> oh, oh no. dear. It's gonna crash, right? Nope. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> You got a 90k? <laughs> yes. <laughs> wow. That was that was fancy. What a blast of a finish. Haha. Ha. Ha. But um tish anyway. Oops. Now we move on. <laughs> we move we move on from that. Alright. We're gonna head to the waiting screen and we'll be back with Ben and TJ in like 10-15 minutes.